welcome to the topic not taking the moment we talk about not taking we picturize a lecturer or a teacher teaching in the classroom and the students noting down the points in their notebooks so what do we do in taking notes first we listen we listen to the lecture then we try to understand it after we have understood it we take the notes and how and some suggestions to not taking are given here number one be prepared beforehand this has to be done before we come to class determine the main idea and details is that uh, the lecture begins then learn the speaker's language cues like pauses trees question or even repetitions because the lecturer will be repeating only those points which are important then you have to pay attention to the body language the body language speaks a lot so we have to pay attention to body language and we have to also note the writings that has been made on the board by the speaker now let's talk about some problems and solutions in note taking suppose the speaker speaks too swiftly what shall we do we can ask to slow down don't hesitate to ask suppose the accent of, or the pronunciation of the speaker is unfamiliar to you what what's the solution the solution is we have to come with background reading if we have come with background reading we can understand it even if the pronunciation or the action is different what if the class is noisy no problem you have to concentrate on the g's or the main points you don't need to listen to every word what if there is insufficient background knowledge you cannot do anything here in the class this has to be done before the class so you have to come with background reading for the topic in advance what if there is too many or let's say too much amount of input or data that you are not able to cough with for this we have to use diagrams tables or charts in taking notes so that we can organize them properly in different categories what if you are fatigued due to concentration demand take a break now and then during uh, taking reasonable intervals arrange for breaks if you are anxious due to fear that you have only one chance to hear the information and you may skip something no problem if you have missed some points also you can ask the speaker to recap again so the definition of not taking is writing down a piece of information during a lecture or class in a systematic way not only during the class we can use the same for research observations in the lab as well as in the field but remember this writing has to be systematic and why do we take notes why take notes first of all it helps in listening some people may argue that if we are always trying to take notes it interferes with our listening no in fact not taking it enhances your listening because you are always trying to listen in order to take notes so it also improves in recollection because not taking is not over in the class we have more revision and other things to do after class in order to complete the notes and students who don't take notes generally they forget around 80 percent of the lecture by the end of two weeks compare with the not those who take notes and suggestions for better note taking every lecture you begin on a new phase and you note down the topic the date and the lecturer's name at the top okay like this here then leave space for comments if the need arises so while you are writing there should be enough space between points so that anything may any sub points or 
details may come up, you can write in between. You can develop your, your own sort of hand, like this for times of India, you can write toy. For men, you can simply write these two letters. For important, inf. For group work, you can write GW. No need to write, no need to spend time writing along, or let's say, these two words. For you, you, you can simply write the letter U. Similarly, you can also make use of symbols. Like N, you can use the symbol ampersand. For decrease, you can use the symbol less than. Similarly, for increase, you can just write the symbol of greater than. Cause for led to, you can simply write the symbol equals to. And for percentage, you can use the symbol instead of writing the whole word. And for width, simply W would do without also WO, not Y of Within WI, like this for two, which is number, or two, the prep preposition, or two. You can simply write the letter, I mean the number 2. The figure 2 will do for these three words. This will make your taking of the notes faster. So after you take the notes, what shall we do? We have to revise as soon as possible. When to revise? As soon as possible. If not possible, immediately after the class, of course, it is better to do it immediately after the class because that time you will remember the maximum amount of information. But if not possible, you when you come home, you do it before the day is over, before you sleep. After all, a clear and legible and informative notes, these are excellent materials for examination point of view. How to take notes? So before class, get ready to take notes. And during the class, you take notes, you write as much as possible. And after class, you have to rewrite or revise the notes. Now we have different methods of note taking here, like the kernel method, the outlining method, the, my, uh, the mapping method, starting method, and the sentence method. Let's discuss one by one. The first, the kernel method here. Let's imagine this is the paper. In corner matter, what uh, what we do is we draw a line here, another line at the bottom, and we give another line horizontal here, and vertical two horizontals and one vertical. We show we divide this paper into different sections. This small area is what we call area A. Let's call the big one area B, and the bottom one area C. And at the top of all this. Here we have to write the day, the topic, and the lecturer's name. In area A, it is where we have to write the keywords. Area B is where we have to write the description of the notes during the class or during the lecture. And area C is where we have to write the summary. So this corner method was developed by Walter Polk in his book, How to Study in College, written in the year 1962 while he was working in Cornell University. So there are six steps to writing, uh, let's say, not taking in Cornell method. Or let's, we call it 6R. Record, reduce, recite, reflect, recapitulate, and review. So first of all, let's talk about record. So during the lecture, we have to record as many packs and ideas as possible in taking notes. And after that, after the class, we have to read through the notes and then reduce to keywords, phrases, and questions. Suppose this is the page. Here you have taken the notes. So this area here, this is where you have to write the keywords or the questions. And now coming to recite. Now you have the cues apart from the notes. What you have to do is cover the notes area. Suppose you have covered the notes area. Now you can see only the cues. So look at the cues and then say or answer aloud the details regarding the cues and see and let's say or check if it is correct or not by removing the cover. Then reflect. 
Here we compare the facts and ideas that we had learned or uh, we have learned in the class with our previous knowledge and we come reflect this is reflection and coming to recapitulate recapitulate and write the summary suppose yes you have written the notes in the class and after the class you have uh, deduced the cues then now is you have to recapitulate and write the summary here at the bottom then review we have to review at least we have to spend let's say spend at least 10 minutes reviewing your notes every day it will help you to memorize a lot so next method we'll talk about outline method outlining method here we draw a line here in the paper or at the top we write the date topic and the lecturer's name first of all we write the heading or the main topic follows then which is followed by subtopic and this subtopic may have points under the subtopic and more points and still more points according to the uh, as the lecture goes on then we have another subtopic for this also we have points and more points and still more points then we go to another main topic for this another main topic also we have subtopics for which we have similarly points more points and yet more points and another subtopic comes up for similarly we have more points here also and then we have finished this one another main topic also come up like this it goes on this is the outlining method but remember in this outlining method what we have to take care of first of all it should be well categorized and organized if it is not organized well it would be hard to review later on and remember on the left side here use indents using indents it helps to differentiate the main topic the top subtopic as well as the points in the subtopics and you can develop your own system now let's come to the outlining method suppose uh, example here suppose you have uh, the topic is pollution definition here you can have the introduction of uh, this uh, pollution is the introduction of harmful materials to the environment like this you can write and types you can write water pollution contamination of water with harmful materials industrial waste insecticides in water wastewater treatment plastic waste reduction like this you can take the notes and another subtopic comes here air pollution for which also points would come and yet more points would come like this it goes on this is and another pollution come like this it will go on this is what we call outlining method now outlining method is gone now let's talk about the mapping method some people call it mind mapping in mind mapping we take a large paper and it be, we begin in the center of the paper where we write the main idea and this main idea we may have sub ideas and is sub ideas we may further have ideas or topics yet more ideas and topics for each sub idea example suppose today's lecture is about pollution you can have about the one subtopic can be water pollution another subtopic air pollution and another subtopic soil pollution so for water pollution we may have uh, pollutants like pathogens industrial waste fertilizer for air pollution we may have other things like carbon monoxide lead or uh, carbon chlor uh, chlorofluorocarbons and for soil pollution we may have lead mercury and insects like this it will go on branching so this is mapping method or mind mapping then number four charting method in charting method or which sometimes we call taxonomizing method suppose main topic is here we draw a table like this with three, three or more columns where we have subtopic one two or three and for each subtopic we have key points one two three we keep on writing the points similarly for subtopic two also we keep on writing the, the key points 
and it we continue the same thing for the next subtopic also this is how we do it in taxonomizing or sorting method now the last one the sentence method the sentence method this is a method which is not a proper note taking technique but simply just we keep on writing points after points as the lecturer keeps speaking in the class sometimes we can number the points for easy identification later on if possible we have to include certain pictures and drawings also how to take notes now now that we have seen the different methods how to take notes first of all come prepared to the class then take enough time in note taking and take as much notes as possible during the lesson and take the notes using any method of your choice all the methods there is no method which is better than the other all of them are good enough you choose any of them and if possible you, you can even modify them you can develop your own model or your own, own method also and you can use symbols and shorthand using symbols and shorthand makes your writing faster so that you can listen more and write more in detail and after that you have to revise revision should be after the class this is how we write the notes I mean, not taking. Thank you.